Hi folks, we're doing a quick recap of implicit differentiation. It's a technique that you use to differentiate relations where x and y are all tangled up, so typically ones that are not in y equals form. The approach is to differentiate each side. All your standard rules apply, so that means product, quotient, and chain. But when you differentiate something that involves a y, you need to tack on a y prime at the end, and that comes from the chain rule. If you end up with several y prime terms, collect them on one side, and then you can use factoring to help you isolate y prime. We'll do one example to show the process, but if you need more examples, just check out the video lessons. So here we've got x squared sine y plus 3 equals y cubed. Obviously, we can't get y on its own, so we're just going to have to work with it. It's got a product in it, so I'd say u is x squared u prime is 2x. v is sine of y. And when we do our y stuff, we differentiate regularly. Sine y would turn into cos y. And we tack a y prime onto the end. That's all the setup done. So let's go ahead and differentiate. So we have u prime v plus u by v prime. And then this 3 is going to turn into a 0. And this y cubed is going to turn into 3y squared times y prime. Let's just make this look a little nicer. So we have 2x sine y plus x squared. I might put the y prime here just to show that it's not actually in with the angle, times cos y. All right, and now I want to get my y primes on one side. I'm going to put them on my right-hand side. So I have, still have this. I'm going to leave this 2x sine y over here. Okay, and then I'll have negative x squared by y prime by cos y. That's a prime, not a power of 1. I'll factor out the y prime. Okay, and that's still equal to 2x sine y. And lastly, I'll just divide. So I'll get 2x sine, not x, but sine of y all over 3y squared minus x squared cos of y. There's an expression for the slope anywhere. We could have done it by putting the y primes on the other side. It'll look a tiny bit different, but it will mean the exact same thing. I'll quickly show that. You can see all the terms on top and bottom change from negative to positive or vice versa, but it still means the exact same thing. If you sub in any ordered pair into this one or this one, it'll give you the same slope. Either way is good. 